Do you notice that several seconds pass between the time you see a lightning and hear a thunder? How come you see lightning first when lightning and thunder happens at the same time? This is explained by variations in the speed of sound. The speed of a sound wave describes how fast this disturbance spreads through the medium. What affects the speed of sound? In this lesson, we will be identifying factors that affect the speed of sound. Specifically, we will describe the effect of temperature to the speed of sound. From the previous discussion, you learned that sound propagates through different media. The speed of sound is described as the product of the wavelength and frequency. It can be expressed by V equals lambda F, where V is the speed of sound in meters per second, lambda is the wavelength in meters, and F is the frequency in 1 per second, or what we know as hertz. To better understand this, let's try this example. Calculate the speed of a sound that has a wavelength of 20 meters and a frequency of 16 hertz. We can use the GAFSA method to solve this. Let us identify the given in the problem, which are the wavelength that is 20 meters and the frequency of 16 hertz. We are asked to calculate for the speed of sound. To solve this, we will use the formula for speed of sound, which is V is equal to lambda F. By substituting the values, we can compute for the speed of sound which is equal to 320 meters per second. Now it's your turn. A sound wave travels in a metal steel at a speed of 5,200 meters per second with a frequency of 20 hertz. What is its wavelength? You may pause the video for more time. Let's move on. The speed of sound waves does not depend on the source but on the medium through which they move. Several factors affect the speed of sound as it travels through a medium including density, elasticity, and the temperature of the medium. Solids have greater densities than liquids, and liquids have densities that are greater than gases. Sound waves move well through dense materials. This is because the molecules are close together. Sound waves move fast through elastic materials. Elasticity is the property of the material to change in shape when a deforming force acts upon it and return to its original shape when the deforming force is removed. The greater the elasticity of a material, the faster the sound propagates. The speed of sound waves also depend on the temperature of the air. Sound waves travel faster through warm air than through cool air. At 0 degrees Celsius, sound travels in dry air at a speed of 331 meters per second. The speed increases by about 0.6 meters for every 1 degree Celsius increase in temperature. In equation form, V equals 331 meters per second plus 0.6 meters per second over degrees Celsius times the temperature, where V is the speed of sound and T is the temperature in degrees Celsius. Let's try this. Calculate the speed of sound at the standard room temperature. On a Celsius scale, the standard room temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Based from this, at 20 degrees Celsius, 
sound waves travel at around 344 meters per second. At this rate, molecules of air collide more often. In this lesson, we explain that speed of sound is affected by density, elasticity, and temperature of the medium. If you like more science videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and always remember that you are all awesome.